Hello students, and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Level Physical Geography course. Today we're going to be looking at Oxbow Lakes. Lake, which is separated from the adjacent river. An Oxbow Lake is basically this horseshoe type lake which is separated from the adjacent river. And it all forms starting with a meander. And on screen now is what a meander really is. It's part of the river which kind of will waver from zigzag, perhaps a bit from bit, and have this snake-like kind of uh, form. So what happens is that at the moment we have the current strongest on the outside bend. So I'm going to highlight the current in red. What we can see from this is that the current is always going to erode the outside banks a lot more. So these are the banks which are getting eroded. And then these, which I'm going to show in black, are the banks where we're getting deposition. This is explained in the previous video, which is all about meanders. Now what this means is that the parts that are getting eroded aren't having anything deposited because all the material would just get eroded. So as a result, the other bank, the opposite bank, is going to be the one which has all the sediment deposited on it. Over time, these banks are going to get eroded even more and more. So what this means, we have the outside bend, which is going to be so much so eroded that these two bends start to get closer and closer together. So what this really will mean is that the bends now get closer and this bend is kind of left alone. We're now starting to get a U-shaped uh, kind of formation on this uh, second bend and the first two, well the first bend and the last bend are now getting together. The gap between the outside, and the outside bends narrows, here we're getting far more erosion, also here on the second bend, and here we're getting more deposition. So we get to a point where we now have the start of the lake formation. The two bends have now joined together because the direction of flow has just gone straight through and now joined both of the lakes in order to have one straight flow. However, the outside bend here, which is now turned into this lake with a hole in the middle, is still kind of existing because that was the second bend. The second bend was flowing into the first bend, that's why we have this area here, and the second bend was connected to the third bend, that's why we have this area here. So as a result, the main direction of flow is at the moment going through here however some of it also goes around here and throughout the end so we get the formation of this shape now this is where the straight becomes the dominant path the complete dominant path and all water effectively travels straight down so this means that a lot of the material will now get deposited on this side because that's where no erosion is taking place and all the erosion is effectively happening on this bank here. So this means that now this lake, which we co call the Oxbow Lake, is now fully formed and it's this horseshoe, almost kind of crescent U-formed shape which is forming completely apart from the river, separated by the deposited sediment because it's been separated from the main direction of flow. And this is effectively what an Oxbow Lake will then look like. Here are some questions on the formation of Oxbow Lakes. Have a go at answering these on another sheet of paper, and then press pause to give yourself time. Hit play to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got both of these right, congratulations, I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on the formation of potholes. As always, thank you so much for watching, and be sure to visit the channel or revise their level for any more help. Good luck in your exams, and I'll see you next time.